not be able you may not be able to control every situation and its outcome but you can control your attitude and how you deal with it thank you for that quote would you please stand and join me in the pledge of allegiance <laughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next would be approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Roll call. Yeah. Roll call. present. Alderman Lassard and Matichek are excused. And now we go on to approval of the minutes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. And moved and seconded to approve the minutes of our last meeting. Any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 14 ayes. Next is resignations. City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mayor's office received an email from uh, Susan Kirchner advising that uh, she needed to resign from the International Committee due to her college schedule. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. <coughs> the resignation uh, is before us. Any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 14 eyes. Next, we'll go on to um, election for the Board of Water Commissioners. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. I move that nominations be received from the floor, <clears throat> voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list, and balloting to continue to one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. All in favor of the motion, and please signify by saying aye. 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 Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. Uh, I move to open the floor for nominations for a member of the Board, and Water, Board of Water Commissioners. Is there a second? Second. The motion is on the floor. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Um, I move to nominate uh, Jerry Vandekreek um, for Board of Water Commissioners. Second. And we have a second. Um, all in favor of the nomination, signify by saying aye. 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 Um, are there any further nominations? Are there any further nominations? Are there any further nominations? Jerry Vandekreek is with us. Jerry, did you want to accept the nomination? Yes, sir. Would you like to uh, come to the podium and, and say anything? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just got done with All right, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move that nominations be closed and to direct the city clerk to cast a unanimous ballot for Jerry Vanda Creek as a new member of the Board and Water Commissioners. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, please signify. Oh, I'm sorry, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I appreciate very much the job that Jerry Vandekreek does on the Board of Water Commissioners for the last number of years. However, because I, uh, Jerry Vandekreek has also done a wonder, wonderful job as my CPA over the last few years, I need to abstain from this vote, vote please. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion passes. Welcome to another term. Next is a presentation on the 2014 uh, budget summary. Jim Amodio, our Chief Administrative Officer. Thank you very 
Wow. Should I leave one for Susie or not? I'll get, leave one for Susie. Back on uh, September 15th, I had presented an executive budget summary uh, for the 2014 budget. Basically, everything on um, these, these two sheets of paper, front and back, uh, remained the same. At that point, we had a $293,000 deficit uh, after we had gone through the city uh, budgets at least several times and have since gone through all the standing committees as well as a final review by the finance committee. Uh, the only thing that was decided uh, that changed this letter was on the second page towards the bottom. The Finance Committee, uh, after reviewing all budgets, uh, made a recommendation to the Council uh, to restore the levy rate back to 2012 levels, which is up to 13 cents a thousand. <clears throat> At the time, uh, we put the estimate together as between nine and a half and ten cents uh, was the estimate to cover the 293,000. But again, we didn't have all of the state information in which we're getting in now. so. We believe we should be okay with a nine and a half to ten cent increase. Um, that's the only update I have on the budget uh, since uh, uh, July 15th. Thank you very much for that presentation, Jim. Is there anyone registered for the public forum? No. On the mayor's announcements. Um, Tomorrow night, the uh, Harbor Center strategic plan is going to be worked on at the John Michael Kohler Arts Center. That meeting is going to be held from uh, 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, we'll be planning for the future of downtown, including discussions on downtown trends and opportunities, input on streetscape, redevelopment, and the business mix. Uh, there's also a survey that's being conducted as a part of the uh, master plan, and uh, you can go to the city website at sheboyganwi.gov and uh, that'll link you to the uh, survey, or you can go down to Mead Library and participate it uh, on a paper form. Uh, they have those available, and you can leave it at the library when you've finished. Our Sheboygan firefighters opened up a new permanent exhibit on the third floor of the Above and Beyond Children's Museum on 9-11 last week. This display includes a replica of fire station number one, a restored fire truck cab, and a window overlook of the community garden. Be sure to take your children or grandchildren to see this exciting new exhibit, and it's a real tribute to our firefighters, the work that they did, and the sponsors that they in in incorporated in this for creating this new attraction at the Children's Museum. Our uh, road repairs continue. Geely Avenue between Calumet Drive and North 15th will be addressed this next week. There'll be some road closures there. Um, the annual September Adopt a Beach Cleanup is going to be held this Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. People should meet at the Land Park Beach. Camp Wicota is organizing the volunteers for this effort, so please come down and join them on Saturday. Uh, community survey on heroin is being conducted by the Sheboygan uh, Police Department. To participate, just go to the, the, the city website at sheboyganwi.gov and click on the survey banner which will take you to the survey link uh, where this can be uh, filled out. Uh, there's a household hazardous waste drop off this Saturday from eight o'clock until 11 at the County Highway Shed on 60, uh, 7614 Frontage Road. The fee is $10 a car and that includes electronics to be dropped off. Next we'll go on to the consent agenda. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all, our, all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. The consent agenda bef is before us. Is there any uh, discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Sorry. 14 ayes. <clears throat> and um, 
just a point of information on item 2.3, because the state has moved up the date that the state aids are supplied to cities, we were able to move up our budget schedule. And that means that on 10-7, we'll be holding the public hearing on the 2014 budget. And on 10-21, the 2014 budget will be up for final council approval. Uh, documents relating to the budget, which were previously held over till 11-4, will now be uh, laying over until 10-21. Uh, Next on reports of officers, we'll hold item 3.1 uh, till we get them to item on the agenda 4.1. 3.2, an RO by the administrative officer with uh, listing of the estimated unreserved balances will lie over. Items 3.3 through 3.13 will all be referred to various committees. Under resolutions 4.1, a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to enter into a contract for the provision of health screening biometric services for all city employees currently participating in the city's health insurance program and to waive the need for competitive bidding for the services. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please go ahead. Thank you. I move that we put this resolution upon its passage and also accept and file RO 3.1. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Will the clerk please call the roll? <coughs> 14 ayes. Motion passes. Um, items 4.2 and 4.3 will be referred. Then on to reports of committees. Uh, 5.1 is an RC by law and licensing pursuant to RO number 86 of 1314 by the city clerk submitting taxi cab operator's license 8147 uh, that be denied based on his failure to accurately reveal all convictions on his application. This record of violations related to the licensed activity and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, I'd like to make a motion to refer this back to committee. Second. Second. It's been moved and second to refer this back to committee. Any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Who did the second on that please? Alderman Carlson. Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Uh, Five point two is an RC by Strategic Fiscal Planning Commission amending the uh, public forum rules for common council meetings. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move to accept and adopt to file the resolution. Second. It's moved and seconded to accept and adopt to file the resolution. Any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 11 ayes, 3 noes. Motion passes. Next, 5.3 is an RC by Strategic Fiscal Planning Commission repealing and recreating Section 2 112 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code relating to the time of regular meetings as to change the regular meeting time to 6 o'clock p.m. rather than 7 o'clock p.m. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Moved and seconded. The uh, motion is on the floor under discussion. Alderman Boren. Uh, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Um, I would make amen an amendment given our, our current budget cycle and some of the things that are already in place that um, I would amend that this begin on 1-1-2014. Second. It's been moved and seconded to amend the document and uh, have an effective starting date after the first of the year. Any more uh, discussion on that amendment? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on the amendment? Okay, hold on just a second, please. Why not get started earlier? Alderman Bourne. Alderman Bourne. Thanks, Mayor. Under discussion, uh, would you explain that again, Alderman Hammond, your reasoning for not doing it until January. If, if we have a chance to start earlier, 
Why not start earlier right away? Go ahead, Alderman Hammond. Um, thank you. Um, because of what we're doing with the City College and um, some of the public hearings that have been posted in, a, in our budget cycle that we've already approved, I believe it was kind of the consensus of staff that starting after 1-1 one, one, um, made more sense than starting it um, prior to 1-1. One, one. It would throw off a lot of schedules and a lot of things would have to be rescheduled. So, my, thank you. Okay. We're voting on the amendment to make it effective 1-1 one, one of 14. Any other discussion on that amendment? Or the clerk, clerk call the roll on the amendment. Twelve ayes, two noes. <clears throat> okay, the motion is uh, as amended is before us. Any further discussion on the motion? See none. Will the clerk call the roll? I will. Twelve ayes, two noes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to ordinances. Uh, 6.1 through 6.7 will all be referred to various committees. And next will be other matters. City Attorney. 7.1 is a resolution supporting the Green Tier Charter for Legacy Communities as set forth by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. That'll be for referred to strategic fiscal planning. Yes. 7.2 is a resolution establishing the monthly premium equivalent rates for the medical benefit plan effective for January 2014 coverage. That'll be referred to salary and grievances. 7.3 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. And 9.2 is resolution number 55-13-14. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move to discharge the Finance Committee regarding the aforementioned resolution, amending resolution number 184-10-11 to establish service fee for payments that are made by credit card or debit card to the City of Sheboygan. Is there a second? Second. Okay, the uh, vote needs to be a uh, two-thirds vote of the council to discharge. Would the clerk please call the roll? Thirteen ayes. Go ahead, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that resolution number 55-13-14 be passed. Second. I move and seconded to pass uh, item resolution number 55. Under discussion, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, it says establish a, a service fee. Uh, what, is, what is the service fee going to be? What is it going to be based on? I suppose our costs are, go ahead. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, this is a service fee right now, traditionally, when you run a credit card that service fee is paid for by the vendor that has the credit card. Um, very similar to an ATM, we're going to a fee for service where somebody uses a credit card or a debit card. Depending on the amount, it ranges from about a buck fifty to about three bucks, depending on what the amount that's being charged, and that gets charged to the individual that is making that charge. Um, I believe, Chad, correct me if I'm wrong, up to fifty bucks, it's a buck fifty, over fifty to a hundred. three bucks. So again, passing on that cost instead of to the taxpayers, um, those that are using the service would pay for it. Thank you for that explanation. Alderman Bourne. Just to follow up, uh, how much would we anticipate? Uh, how many credit card transactions are we doing now and how much are we uh, <coughs> estimating that, that the fee will bring in? Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I'm not exactly sure the total number of credit cards that are swiped every year, um, but we estimate about a $15,000 savings. Thank you for that information. Alder, uh, rather, Chad Pelichek, you have some additional information? <coughs> the 
This is a new system called point and pay. The county right now uses it. We've adopted it and have programmed it. And what we're looking at doing is implementing credit card payments in other departments that haven't historically uh, accepted a credit card, as in uh, building inspection, uh, the municipal service building. So those types of fees where we've, where we've always collected cash or check, they'll now have the option to do credit card. So the $15,000 savings that we would see is really the savings that is in the finance department currently and the municipal court system. So what we're looking at is if we would implement the current credit card system in all in these other departments as well, uh, transit is on and municipal court, uh, we would obviously see more expense to it. This puts the expense, like Alderman Hammond said, on the user versus on the city. So there's a processing fee every time you would use your credit card, and that way we can roll it out to other departments so we've got another means of payment for people that are paying for services. Thank you very much, Chad. Any other discussion? Would the clerk please call the roll on the motion? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Move to convene into closed session under the exemption provided in <coughs> Section 19.851E, Wisconsin Statutes, for the purpose of conferring or deliberating the possible sale of public property where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. Move and second it to go into closed session. Will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. We'll take a five-minute recess oh, and then yet. go into closed session. I've never been tuned in and ready to go.